Have you ever wondered about the intricate dynamics of the Middle East, a region steeped in history and fraught with tension? Today, we're diving into the Abraham Accords, a monumental agreement that has reshaped the relationships within this fascinating region. In August of 2020, during the administration of President Donald Trump, a significant diplomatic effort materialized in the Middle East. This effort, known as the Abraham Accords, signaled a shift in the traditional dynamics of the Arab-Israeli conflict. For the first time in decades, Arab countries began normalizing ties with Israel. The Abraham Accords were initially a bilateral agreement between Israel and the United Arab Emirates, signed in September of 2020. They marked the first instance of Israel establishing diplomatic relations with an Arab country since 1994. The Accords were named after Abraham, a figure revered in Judaism, Christianity and Islam, symbolizing a shared heritage and a step towards unity. Subsequently, Bahrain joined in the Accords, signing a similar agreement and recognizing Israel's sovereignty. This was a significant move, as the establishment of full diplomatic relations between these nations was not just symbolic, but also paved the way for economic cooperation. The ripple effect of the Abraham Accords did not stop there. Soon, Sudan and Morocco announced their intentions to normalize relations with Israel. These agreements were not merely diplomatic handshakes, they represented a shift in the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. However, the Accords have not been without controversy. Critics have voiced concerns about the lack of progress on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and questioned the motivations behind the agreements. Moreover, as of November 2023, Bahrain has suspended all economic relations with Israel due to the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. Despite these challenges, the Abraham Accords have had a tangible impact. They have led to increased economic relations between Israel and the UAE, Bahrain, Sudan, and Morocco. From a billion-dollar agreement for a UAE sovereign wealth fund to buy an Israeli natural gas field, to the opening of the Israel Gulf Cooperation Council Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Dubai, the Accords have undeniably reshaped economic ties in the region. Now, let's journey into the realm of speculation. What might happen to the Abraham Accords if Trump becomes president again? We can only speculate on his potential influence and the direction US foreign policy might take towards the Middle East. With his previous involvement, it's possible we may see further expansion or changes to the Accords. However, as with all geopolitical matters, predicting outcomes is a complex task, filled with uncertainties. While this is all speculative, the potential return of Trump to the White House could indeed have significant implications for the Abraham Accords. In future videos, we will continue to explore and unravel these complex geopolitical scenarios, so remember to subscribe and stay informed.